Hey everyone, this is Dan from New Mexico Rocketry Reviews, and today's review is on the SD Star Orbiter. Here's some background information. The Star Orbiter costs $24.99 on the SD's website. It fits an SD's E16-6 and the F15-8, which are 29mm engines. The projected maximum altitude is 1,800 feet or 549 meters. It has a diameter of 42 millimeters, so it will not fit the SD's Pro Series 2 booster, even though it is a Pro Series rocket. It fits a launch rod size of a quarter inch, and it's 45 inches tall. The build is very straightforward and easy, and the rocket has fin slots, which makes it very easy, and it keeps the fins straight. It fits a very large engine, looks nice, and is very lightweight, so it reaches a high altitude. Along with that, the Star Orbiter is very cheap. It is only $24.99 on the SD's official website. One of the things that we didn't like about the rocket was its plastic parachute. If you have a nylon parachute, we recommend that you replace the plastic one with that one. Also, the coupling did not fit very well for our kit, but that might have just been our kit. Along with that, the water slide decals came off within the first few flights, and the shock cord is too thin. Other than that, we think the rocket is great. Here are some tips and tricks to make your star orbiter go higher. Make sure to round the leading edges of the fins and use wood filler to make the fins smooth. We have left a link in the description on how to do both techniques. Also, it helps to use some type of clip or hook on the nose cone to attach the parachute and shock cord to. This helps keep the shock cord from tangling with the parachute. To attach an altimeter, we like to use an exterior payload bay. We made ours with a small body tube with a coupler attached to the end so it can fit on top of smaller rockets, but it works well on the side of larger rockets. On the top, we added a small nose cone to keep it aerodynamic. Make sure to drill small holes in the side so your altimeter can get a reading. Here's how to attach it. First, insert the altimeter in the payload bay. We like to have a sponge on each end to keep the altimeter secure and safe. Next, close the tube off with the nose cone. Make sure the nose cone is very tight so that it does not come off during the flight. We like to secure ours with a small screw. Next, attach the payload bay to, on the side of the rocket with a rubber band, then secure it with tape. You may want to use painter's tape or else it might damage your rocket. Next up is the launch footage. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and if you'd like to support us, check out our Patreon on the link down in the description. Also, check out the music video of this rocket in the card in the upper right corner. Other than that, have a great day.